Happy Sunday, everyone! It's afternoon and it's March 29, 2020. And uh, it's a rainy, cool day here in Valhalla, New York. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, it's supposed to be spring, but I guess spring also needs some water. So today I want to talk about love. One, because it's Sunday and we're home and usually Sundays is our loving days where we just roam around at home and just relax, which we still do today. And why love? Love because I spoke about needs the other day and for me, I really think it's that everybody actually wants, although we don't know we don't need it. And so it's like the underlying need that I was talking about last time. And uh, I want to just spend a little bit more time on talking about love. And it's not just love in way of how we feel towards somebody or ourselves. It's also just of being in nature can be a, a way of love. It's expressed in different ways. It can be expressed in words. It can be expressed in our gestures. It can be expressed by peace and by just presence and um, when i talked about the breath yesterday it actually made me think about love because it's like self-compassion like care self-care like so many things that we do on a regular basis without noticing it is coming from love and today in the world that we are in right now with this fun of virus that we're dealing with it comes out even more that love is all we need and the Beatles were great at uh, expressing it in words, uh, in songs and uh, to me love is just something that is like happiness it's unattainable, it's not something you can touch you do feel it and you do experience them it's just nothing that you can put on something uh, like, yes, we can love the things we have, we can love the clothes we have, the food that we eat, we can love all those things, but in the end, it's not the actual thing we're having, it's how it makes us feel. So that's why it could be related to anything. And so that's why it's, it's something bigger than ourselves. And because it's Sunday, and Sunday is being the calm day, I wanted to, for us to just ask ourselves what and how do I describe love in my everyday? So before we get into our next week of a new week of challenges of homeschooling, of work at home, uh, and all these other new tasks that we have, I would, ask, uh, I would like us to just take a minute or a second just to think about what does love mean to me? And by embracing it and by really putting it into words and thoughts that we can bring that up at times when we feel difficulty, when we're feeling stressed, when we're feeling frustrated or upset. And so in those moments, it's when we can remember when we wrote down that word or when we said it a few times to ourselves. So that's what I'd like to ask you is to take the time to maybe even write it down so that when you get to this difficult time to con so you can read it out loud uh, how is what is love to you and how do you describe it in your everydays so you can remind yourself of being love and giving love to others and yourself all right that's that for today happy sunday enjoy your families bye